my loves, so I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top 5 foundation, drugstore foundations actually. Um, you guys seem to really like my top 5 series so I'll continue and do, and do as many as I can for drugstore and high end. Unfortunately I don't have that many high end stuff so I'm trying to build my collection and then I'll try and do some high end versions of the top 5 series but for now I'm just going to keep uh, doing my drugstore ones and I hope you guys will like it. So obviously the first foundation you guys know that I love is this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I'm not going to talk too much about it because you guys already know what I think about it. And this one's in the shade Tan by the way. I'll leave my foundation review in the info box for this foundation but it's just so good. If you guys have not tried it, definitely tried it. I also read a comment yesterday by someone who said that she had um, oily skin and it still worked for her and she only needs to blot once. So. Even though I've been saying that maybe for oil, oily skin it wouldn't be that great, it worked fine for her. So I think it's great for all skin types in that case. And it's just such a good foundation and it's my favourite. These are not in no particular order but this is definitely my favourite. It's, it's so good, seriously, try it. The next foundation that I really really love that's from the drugstore is this uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I obviously have two shades because this one's too dark and this one's too light and I mix the two and it gets my perfect shade. And I have 320 which is the darker one and 315. You can tell that this one's too light and one's too dark but when I mix them it's like the perfect shade so I'm happy that I got both of them and the finish of these are just amazing it's like more of that dewy finish I feel like and it's not it's I would say medium to full coverage more on the medium side but you can definitely build upon it and it just sits on the skin really really well it still gives me a bit of smile lines uh, unlike my Milani which I really don't get any to be honest but um, it works really well on the skin and it's just amazing to be honest and not to forget they are very affordable and you have a good colour range and the same thing for the Milani one they both have a really 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 good colour range which I really appreciate because being a dark skinned girl you don't really get um, that much of an option in the drugstore in the UK and even these I had to buy off Amazon because I couldn't find them anywhere in the shop especially the darker one. Maybe the 315 is easily um, available in most um, drugstore shops, but 320 wasn't easy to find. And the Milani one is an American brand, but I recently found out that <laughs> there is a Milani UK website, so I'll leave them um, the website link in the info box as well. So yeah, I've been loving these. If you have normal to dry skin, these would be good, but I would suggest them for any skin type, to be honest, because they sit really well on the skin, but I, again, I have a foundation review on these, like an in-depth review, and you can see how it kind of sits on my skin, and I'll leave a link for that one in the info box as well. The next foundation that I want to talk about is the EX1 Invisawear foundation, which I actually bought online, and the only thing that sucks about this is that there's not really a good colour range. I believe there's only five shades, and I'm in the shade F400. Um, this one is a bit dark for me, but I haven't gotten around to buying a lighter shade, so what I did today, I'm actually wearing this one today, I just mixed it with a bit of the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Balm, which is like a it's like basically like the sleek bear kissed um, illuminator and it just lightened it up for me and gave it gave, gave it a bit of a glow and that's what I did and I'm wearing it today and it gives a really nice flawless finish the thing that I love about this foundation it just makes your skin look photoshopped and really really flawless without being too heavy and I think it's great for all skin types I have dry skin and it works perfect for me um, it doesn't make me too oily it doesn't make me too dry it's just perfect and Again, I have a review on this, so I'll leave all the review videos and links in the info box, as you guys know. Um, and yeah, I've been really liking this. Definitely in my top 5 drugstore list. The next foundation that I want to talk about, which I actually don't have with me right now, is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now, I lost mine. I don't even know where it went, because I just my makeup is all over the place, so I easily lose things. But you guys know that I used it in the past and I had the shade Toffee Caramel but I have to, I have, there's a code for that foundation colour so I will write that in the info box. And that foundation colour was a little bit, like a little bit dark but 
nonetheless it sat really nice on the skin and it's a really really good drugstore foundation especially for the price and again it, there's an alright colour shade I don't know why I've always seen like a bunch of light shades and then just two dark shades it's just so annoying so not too fond about the colour range but if you can get your hands on it and you can get your shade um, it's a good foundation to have in your collection because it's affordable and it's just it, it feels like a good quality foundation and it doesn't um, dry me up or anything and it's a really good foundation but that's another foundation that I definitely have in my top five um, list and I just need to just go and buy another one <laughs> and then the last and final one is the Revlon Colorstay uh, foundation for normal to dry skin this is not the oily one and I have the shade toast and the shade is perfect it's literally the same color as my skin tone and this lasts you so long the only downside to it is that there's no pump um, but other than that I really love it it gives a nice dewy finish and it it's so even and it covers really well I mean all these foundations that I just mentioned are just really really good that's why I'm including them in my top five foundation drugstore foundation list but they just all sit really well and I don't know and I did say in my review for this foundation that it had a little bit of glitter but it actually doesn't I probably had glitter in my brush but some people, some of you have been saying that there's glitter in it, but I haven't been noticing glitter in it since I've been using it so much. But I think that day I did have glitter somewhere on my brush or something. I definitely know that the other version of the Revlon foundations, they have glitter in it. And I tried it on my hand, it was like so, so much glitter, which is not for me really, but this one's a really good one. It doesn't have glitter and it's more on the medium coverage side. And yeah, the price is good. I think I got this for around £10 and... Yeah, and it has SPF 20, which is always a plus. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other top five videos you would like to see next. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.